All right, this is a tutorial on how to use KW Finder to get the SEO keyword phrase. So almost in like 99% of the guest posts I get, even though I give them the instructions to give me an SEO keyword phrase when they submit the guest post, they usually do not come with one. So sometimes you can um, tell like just by reading the post, like if they repeat um, stuff a lot, that like that is a good one or like that that is what they intended to be the seo keyword phrase um but what's really important is that it is in the title so it has to be in the title so um once you find out whether their title is um the correct score in co-schedule like if it is the correct score already then you probably want to try to find the a keyword phrase like within that title if it is if you have to like rework the title it's often better to work backwards so start with the key, start with the keyword phrase and then try to find a title that uses that keyword phrase so since this title um already scored a 73 then um i'm going to try to like pick a um keyword phrase that is already within this oops so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to app.kwfinder.com. Um, I have an account here that I will share with you in, in LastPass because um, they do have a free version, but that only gives you like three to five searches per day. So sometimes um, like if you're doing multiple guest posts or you're having a hard time, you'll need to do m more than that. So um, that's why you might want you will wanna use my account. Um, so, um, what I don't like about this title is that nothing, like usually it's really good to have the keyword phrase right at the beginning of the title, like the very first couple words if you can. But like how to easily or like easily and strategically or how, how to easily and strategically, like none of these couple of words would make sense as a keyword phrase because you would never assert, you would never Google how to easily and then like nothing else. So like just looking at it, I can already tell, like, give you a couple ideas of what I'm going to search. So, like, what would be a good keyword phrase that's already in here? So, I'm going to start from the end. So, like, business network. That could be a keyword phrase. Your business network. That could be a keyword phrase. Grow your business network. Strategically grow your business network. And then you could do, like, grow your business. Strategically grow your business. Easily and strategically grow your business. Um... So all of those things are um, things that you might search and those are what I'm gonna use in KW Finder. So I'm gonna start with business oh. network. Um, already I can tell that like this is a bad one because it's super short. So you wanna go for long tail keyword phrases which is basically like you wanna have a couple of words. So like three is usually the minimum I'll do because just basically because if you search business network like you're never gonna be on the first page. That's just ridiculous. So um, you just need to get more specific so that you can rank higher. So if I analyze business network, let's see. Yeah, it's coming up as 58, a score of 58, which is hard. As you can see like it'll show you what is on the f first, second, um, like things, and you have like Wikipedia, businessnetworks.com, Farmers Business Network, like Fox Business, you're never gonna beat those. So this is a bad one. And it already tells you like 58, it's hard. So basically, um, I spoke with like an SEO strategist and it, it kind of depends what website you have, um, like what score you're looking for, depends on what, what kind of website you have. So for my website, we're looking for ones in like the 30s and 40s, a score that's in the 30s and 40s. Um, but for like other sites who are, me who are maybe like not as competitive as mine and who don't have as many page views, you might want to try to find something like in the 20s. So, so, like, because I have more page views, I can try to rank more competitively and try to get, like, those harder keywords. But if it's a blog that's just starting out, you want to go for the lower scores. So, business network's out. So, let's do, like, grow your business. 
58. Nope, that's hard. Okay. Strategically grow your business. 45. That's a that, that's a contender. So you're gonna want to like remember that. And then um let's do easily and strategically grow your business. Forty-nine. It's getting a little tough. That's a little too high for me. Um, grow. Okay. So basically, once you search a bunch of these, like you don't really have to remember because then you can just hit history, and they'll show you what the last couple ones um, that you did were. So originally. Um, like when I first looked at this post, I was going to pick strategically grow your business because it's in the mid forties and like, I don't want anything too high, like 49 is inching too close to 50 for me. Um, and so st strategically grow your business was really the only keyword that, um, seemed to fit in like my area. So, but once I went and read back the post, I realized, where is it? Um, I realized that she was actually, um, like, because she didn't give me a keyword, I didn't think that she formatted her post with keywords in mind. But then as I was reading her post, I realized she's growing your business network. Um, grow your business network. growing your business network. Like I realized she was repeating the phrase grow your business network over and over and over again. So I'm like, oh, okay. That's probably the phrase that she meant to give me. So um, I did go back and look at what grow your business network is. 49 is not too bad. Like if if I had, I had thought she was going for grow your business, 56 is a little too high. So I probably would have reformatted the post and tried to add like, network to the end of each time she said that phrase just so I could go more towards like a lower one but since um like the one I picked was 45 and the one that I think her post is optimized for was actually the one that was 49 so since that was kind of like my second choice anyway or like my plan b I just decided to go ahead and go with that one because it is a little bit easier and like her post is already formatted for that keyword and anything in um, so you don't have too much editing to do. Um, so that that is the keyword I ended up choosing. But if the um, set if the heading if the title had not been like good if it had not had a score of seventy two, and I was gonna start in from the beginning and rework the title, I probably would have gone with something like which whatever, strategically grow your business and then put that into the um, post schedule headline in it, analyzer and tried to do something like how to strategically grow your business with networking or something like that. Start with something like that based on what her post was written about and um, start with the keyword phrase and then just try to like use that keyword phrase to develop a title that has a correct score. So that's basically like the ins and outs of using KW Finder for um, SEO keyword phrases.